it brings back a lot of what happened that night. I kind of relive it every day, and I just kind of am down. Fireworks are meant to bring joy and whimsy to the holiday. For the family Michelle Packard, they bring anything but. Like so many, she was expected to take in the 4th of July fireworks back in 2012. Beautiful, funny, crazy kind of girl. Packard was in Lansing with her fiance. That's when police say someone fired off a celebratory gunshot landing directly in Packard's skull. She died that night. I thought my daughter was in a safe place. Never did I think she was going to die that night. A 2012 survey found 6% of the 284 stray shootings the prior 12 months were celebratory in nature. None were deadly. But it's become more common. Just in 2015, a Houston man died similarly, something this family never would have considered. Now, they have an actual fear of it. Fireworks start going off and just those loud noises, and I think sometimes I just always wonder, like, was that a firework? Was that a gunshot? Is somebody else going to have the same experience or get those same phone calls we got? For 7 Action News this morning, I'm Matthew Smith. Now, Michelle's mom says she can't stay in Macomb during the holiday because she remembers being inside her home taking that phone call. Yeah, she shared her story to stop senseless celebratory gunfire, but we also want to point out that the person who fired that deadly shot uh, is still on the run right now.